Reverend Insanity Chapter 1 in 501 Quasi Great Grandmaster Western Desert, Thieving Heaven's Dream Realm Young Thieving Heaven stepped on the stage once more. His appearance startled the surrounding clansmen. What is the meaning of this? Why is this despicable kid covered in bandages? It seems like he suffered a heavy injury. Nothing could be done about it, although young thieving heaven refined sneak attack goo with Fang Yuan's help. His injuries from the goo refinement process had not been healed, so even if young thieving heaven continued to participate in the competition, he was heavily injured. Young thieving heaven bitterly laughed inwardly. In fact, he did not want to continue to take part in the competition, but Shah Zio forced him to continue. With no other way, young thieving heaven could only enter the battle. And his opponent this time was a clan elder's grandson. When he saw young thieving heaven's heavily injured appearance, he instead retreated several steps, looking at young thieving heaven with extreme cautiousness. What scheme are you plotting? The elder's grandson shouted, you think by disguising as heavily injured, I will be tricked by you? You are underestimating me too much. That's right. You need to be careful when dealing with him, don't be deceived. This method of appearing weak is too childish, but looking at his age, it can be understood. This kid is ignorant, he doesn't have much strength at all, completely relying on tricks to enter the top eight. The surrounding crowd erupted in discussion. Young Thieving Heaven rolled his eyes, speechless. The goo master presiding over this match was also speechless. He had investigative goo and had already ascertained that the heavy injuries on Young Thieving Heaven were real. But Fang Yuan's fraudulent performances before had left such a deep impression on others that even though Young Thieving Heaven was injured currently, they did not dare to believe it. Young Thieving Heaven's opponent even retreated several steps, appearing extremely cautious. Since it is so, Young Thieving Heaven smiled bitterly. The corners of his lips suddenly rose as his gaze and expression changed a little. Fang Yuan had once again gained control over Young Thieving Heaven's body. Come, let me test sneak attack Gu in a real fight. Fang Yuan willed and activated this rank 2 Gu Worm. A blue baby phantom jumped out of young thieving heaven's aperture. What the, the elder's grandson gave a startled cry. He was not able to react in time and the blue baby phantom pounced at his body. Thankfully, I played safe and had immediately activated my defensive goo worm earlier, not giving any chance to my opponent. The blue baby phantom's speed was extremely fast. The elder's grandson could only squeeze out two words while his mind was filled with thoughts. But this thought was the final thought before he fainted. Ga. At the next moment, the elder's grandson coughed out blood, and his eyes opened wide with an incredulous look. Then, he fell down to the ground, immediately losing his consciousness. Fang Yuan won. Silence fell among the crowd. Almost everyone's eyes were opened wide as they saw a blue baby figure drill in and out of the elder's grandson's body which then jumped up and down before entering back into young thieving heaven's aperture. Despicable, he used a dirty trick again. What did he use? The speed was too fast, I actually could not see it clearly. It seems to be a rank 2 goo worm. What exactly was that? I only saw a blue baby phantom. My intuition tells me this blue baby phantom is not simple. This time, not only the observing mortals, even those rank two goo masters were visibly moved. Sneak attack goo's first appearance had shocked everyone. In the following matches, young thieving heaven repeatedly used sneak attack goo. His battles were clean and quick. They could be summarized in a few steps step on the stage, Activate sneak attack goo, opponent faints, and victory comes. Young Thieving Heaven's dominance was so big that he suppressed all the competitors instantly. The crowd was overwhelmed. There was no unexpected mishap. Young Thieving Heaven smoothly grasped first place. This result raised many eyebrows. He was actually concealing this trump card. This kid was actually pretending to be weak. He is too crafty and sinister. 
Yes, he clearly has such strength, but actually resorted to such tricks. Hmm, but this also shows his true nature. Young Thieving Heaven was first place in the competition, but the clansmen were dissatisfied. With Fang Yuan causing disaster from the start, Young Thieving Heaven had lost everyone's favor. Ordinary people pointed at Young Thieving Heaven and whispered to each other, but the clan's higher-ups had their attention on sneak attack goo. This goo is so powerful, what is its origin? That kid is a commoner, a penniless brat. How could he get such a top-tier goo worm? I have investigated it. He has been living in the clan since his birth. But earlier this year, he was exiled, and this goo worm was very likely obtained by him during the exile. You are saying this kid has inherited some senior's inheritance? Yes, that is very likely to be true. This brat doesn't matter. The crucial thing is that this rank 2 goo worm is really powerful. You have already seen its remarkable offensive power. It can be activated by a rank 1 goo master, which means its primeval essence consumption is small. This is a top tier goo worm. As long as our clan can arm ourselves with this goo worm on a large scale, our strength will definitely soar. At that time, we can definitely expand our operations and seize larger oases. The clan leader excitedly spoke, a fire of ambition flickering in his eyes. Sneak attack goo was a rank 2 goo. After its might was displayed, it immediately attracted the covetous gaze of the clan's higher-ups. This was already expected by Fang Yun. With him controlling young thieving heaven, he could naturally avoid using sneak attack goo in the competition, but he took the initiative to use it and openly at that. He had his own plan for this. I want to see what this dream realm will look like because of my decisions. Sneak attack goo has been exposed and attracted the clan's covetous gaze. The higher-ups will definitely want to mass-produce this goo and arm the clan's goo masters. Sneak attack goo was a rank 2 goo. This rank was just perfect. A rank 1 goo was too low, it had weak strength, and there was no meaning in using them on a large scale. Rank 3 was too high, they were too valuable and were difficult to mass produce. Also there were few rank 3 goo masters in the clan. Only rank 2 which was in the middle, was suitable to mass produce and suitable to equip the clan's goo masters. The clan's higher ups could not help being moved. So they want the goo recipe more than the goo worm. After all, there is only one sneak attack goo, they can only mass produce it by obtaining the goo recipe. The clan's higher-ups want to get the goo recipe, so they will most likely try to appease young thieving heaven and try to recruit him. They will not try to obtain it by force or pressure. This was a simple logic. If pressured, it might instead lead to young thieving heaven rebounding and resisting. If he died and did not hand over the recipe, the clan's plans would all be in vain. If he had grievance, he could hand over an incomplete or a tampered goo recipe. The clan would then suffer huge losses. So the best situation was for young thieving heaven to willingly and voluntarily hand over the goo recipe. Just like Fang Yuan expected, as the dream realm continued, the clan's higher-up forces extended offers to young thieving heaven. They were either trying to invite him to visit their homes or offer money and goods to get closer to him. Furthermore, some even wanted to marry their daughter to Young Thieving Heaven. Young Thieving Heaven instantly became popular like a hot product. My good grandson, you have made it. You won't be able to hold on to this sneak attack goo recipe, but you can use this to exchange for a large amount of benefits. Use it properly, and you can even squeeze into the clan's higher-up circle. Hey hey, Shazayo's voice echoed. Young Thieving Heaven, however, was dead set on not handing over the goo recipe. If I hand over the goo recipe, a lot of babies will be implicated. Although young thieving heaven was upright and honest, he had his bottom line, he was an otherworldly demon. He had previous life's experiences and knew that behind the strength of an organization, there was often darkness and dirtiness. Then you can delay it for a while, after a few days, you will be going to the pool to select the reward of the competition winner. Don't forget Grandpa's instructions. 
Sha Zio contained his laughter, his voice turning cold and detached. Don't worry, I won't forget. Young thieving heaven promised. After three days in the dream, he along with seven others were led by clan elders across the blockade and to the pool. This was the most important resource area of the clan. There was also a natural spirit spring in the pool which produced primeval stones and was the basis for survival of the clan. Young Thieving Heaven's clan had not only planted a lot of goo materials around the pool, they had also excavated underground caverns where they stored large amount of goo worms. Because Young Thieving Heaven was the winner, he was brought to an underground cavern to choose a high-quality goo worm from inside. He had just stepped inside when Sha Zio's excited voice was heard, It's here, it's here. I sense a dense immortal goo aura. What immortal goo? Young Thieving Heaven asked. Fang Yuan also had doubts, and was also somewhat shocked that the inheritance here actually involved goo immortals. But right at this time, Fang Yuan's sight suddenly turned dark. His soul was once again being rapidly corroded by the dream realm. After waiting for a seemingly endless time, Fang Yuan's soul had unknowingly left the dream realm. Why am I out? Fang Yuan felt a trace of surprise. This means I have passed the second stage? Fang Yuan immediately came to a realization when he thought of this. Quasi Great Grandmaster my theft path attainment has actually soared to just a step before Great Grandmaster level. Fang Yuan's soul entered his physical body. He opened his eyes, which shined brightly with surprise and joy. Quasi Great Grandmaster Realm. This was a new personal record for Fang Yuan. Among Fang Yuan's various paths, some were at Grandmaster Realm. Even in his first life of 500 years, he had not achieved such an accomplishment in a path. Chapter 1502, Lacking Souls Western Desert, Inside Tang Clan's Immortal Formation Fang Yuan was sitting cross-legged with closed eyes. He was inspecting his soul, his 10 million man soul foundation level had now already fallen to million man soul. Moreover, it was just a little over a million. When I passed the first stage, my soul foundation was over 9 million man soul. But after passing the second stage, I actually only have just over one million man soul, almost falling down to hundred thousand man soul range. Fang Yuan inwardly compared the differences between the two. The second stage was longer than the first stage, and the soul corrosion rate was also much more severe. An ordinary Gu immortal with even a little less soul foundation would have no way to endure such a corrosion. Not to mention a whole stage, they would not even be able to pass half a stage of the dream realm. This made it clear that the difficulty of this dream realm of thieving heaven was too high. No wonder Tang Clan and Tang Fang Ming's many years of effort was like a newborn baby trying to gnaw on an iron hard boulder. Tang Fang Ming was still able to create so many dream path mortal goo. This person indeed has quite remarkable talents and aptitude. Fang Yuan thought of his first life of 500 years, Tang Fang Ming had created a dream path immortal killer move Steel Dream. Previously, Fang Yuan had thought this was because of Shadow Sex help, but now that he had explored two stages of Thieving Heaven's dream realm, he felt Steel Dream was more likely to have been created by Tang Fang Ming himself. The first stage of Thieving Heaven's Dream Realm had increased Fang Yuan's theft path to Grandmaster level, while the second stage had raised it to Quasi Great Grandmaster. I am just a step away from genuine Great Grandmaster level. Fang Yuan quietly comprehended and sensed that beautiful prospect that was close at hand. If I successfully pass one more stage of Thieving Heaven's Dream Realm, I definitely can reach Great Grandmaster attainment. Even Fang Yuan, with his extraordinary calmness, felt traces of fiery anticipation. There was a huge difference between Grandmaster and Great Grandmaster. Grandmaster level could understand about yin yang and heaven and earth, they could learn about the profoundness of the universe, surpassing the mortal realm and become immortals among immortals, sages among sages. 
at Grandmaster level, a Gu Immortal could use their path to imitate the specialties of other paths. For instance, in High Fan's True Inheritance, Hundred Years Harmony, a Time Path Killer move had the effect of Information Path. As for Great Grandmaster Attainment, it meant that the Gu Immortal's understanding of a path was very close to being complete, their knowledge of the path had already reached the limits of the world. They could be considered to be approaching on digging out all the profundities of their path. The dead blazing heaven demoness was a fire path great grandmaster. The present days rank eight goo immortal old ancestor Zhu who was a snow path great grandmaster. At this level, blazing heaven demoness had an extreme sensitivity towards fire path Dao marks. Previously, she had added a trace of fire path Dao mark in every fire path immortal material and plotted against Fang Yuan. Old ancestor Zhu who could casually disassemble all kinds of immortal killer moves. Previously, in the Battle of Reverse Flow River, he had nimbly disassembled his trump card battlefield killer move to deal with Heavenly Court and other enemies, even gaining the upper hand and a formation path Great Grandmaster could directly use the natural Dao marks in the world to set up formations. They often needed only some mortal goo to set up immortal goo formations in some specific areas. As for above Great Grandmaster attainment, there was Supreme Grandmaster. Great Grandmaster was a level where the profundities of the path were being dug out. If Feng Yuan became a theft path Great Grandmaster, he would understand the profundities of theft path that existed in the world, and there would be almost nothing about theft path that he could not comprehend. That was to say, Great Grandmaster was a level where one deciphered just about everything about a certain path. Supreme Grandmaster was to innovate beyond that, to obtain mysteries of the path that did not even exist in the world, to be one step ahead of heaven and earth, Normally, Grandmaster Attainment required hundreds of years of accumulation. In Fang Yuan's first life, he had attained Grandmaster in Blood Path. Great Grandmaster often required a thousand to several thousands of years. A number of rank 8 Gu Immortals possessed this level of attainment. As for Supreme Grandmaster, that was not just a matter of simply accumulation, but concerned talents and natural aptitude as well. Without having awe-inspiring talent and natural aptitude, even if the Gu Immortal lived for 10,000 years, they would not be able to reach Supreme Grandmaster attainment. Therefore, Supreme Grandmasters were extremely rare since ancient times. The Ten Venerables were all Supreme Grandmasters. There were also some legendary characters, like the Three Refinement Path Supreme Grandmaster's Long Hair Ancestor, Old Eccentric Tian Nan and Old Immortal Kongju. Grandmaster and Great Grandmaster attainment level can be achieved through Dream Realms. But Supreme Grandmaster cannot be obtained with Dream Realms. Fang Yuan realized this. This was obvious. Supreme Grandmasters needed to pioneer in creating something from nothing, while Dream Realms were legacies left by predecessors. So the highest attainment level that could be reached through Dream Realms was Great Grandmaster. Once I attain Great Grandmaster level in Theft Path, even if there are still more stages in Thieving Heaven's Dream Realm, I won't be able to increase my Theft Path attainment level through them. This was also the foundation for collaboration between Fang Yuan and Tang Clan. Thieving Heaven's Dream Realm was too large, Fang Yuan's stomach had a limit. Once he was full, there would still be a large portion left for Tang Clan. Tang Clan had only been willing to collaborate with Fang Yuan after he made this reason clear. If Thieving Heaven's Dream Realm was small enough for Fang Yuan to devour alone, how could Tang Clan collaborate with Fang Yuan? In the coming days, Fang Yuan prepared for his third exploration of Thieving Heaven's Dream Realm. He was mainly cultivating his soul. But in his spare time, Fang Yuan taught the secrets of Dream Path to Tang Fang Ming. Tang Fang Ming benefited a lot. Despite Fang Yuan only imparting some superficial Dream Path knowledge, as far as Tang Fang Ming was concerned, what he lacked was this lighthouse to guide him. The first step was always the most difficult. The creation of any path was the most difficult at the beginning. 
Once the first step was taken, the following steps could be taken rapidly. For Fang Yuan, guiding Tang Fang Ming, besides fulfilling the agreement to make it convenient for him to continue exploring the dream realm, was to make arrangements for the future. He was imitating Spectral Soul's strategy of fostering forces in four regions to surround Central Continent and go against Heavenly Court. Time flew by, over twenty days passed just like this. Fang Yuan's soul foundation had once again reached ten million man soul level. The third stage of Thieving Heaven's Dream Realm is sure to be even more difficult. Ten million man soul level might not be safe enough. After Fang Yuan pondered, he decided to continue cultivating his soul to break through to hundred million man soul. If his soul foundation was not sufficient and the soul was corroded completely in the dream realm, it would be akin to death. Even if there was still a physical body left, he would be just like a vegetable without a soul. Maybe I can deduce a dream path killer move to reduce the corrosion of the soul in the dream realm. This idea only flashed past Fang Yuan's mind before he quickly denied it. Fang Yuan's dream path attainment level was only ordinary, not even at Quasi Master. Creating a dream path immortal killer move. Forget about it. As such, there was only one path in front of Fang Yuan currently, to raise his soul foundation to hundred million man soul. But this plan soon met an obstacle. He was lacking Gutsku. Fang Yuan had put Dang Hun Mountain in Lang Ya Blessed Land. Lang Ya Land Spirit personally took charge of using this secluded domain of heaven and earth to produce Gutsku. But Gutsku did not appear out of thin year, it required souls. The higher the quality and the quantity of the souls, the more Gutsku that Dang Hun Mountain could produce. The problem appeared in this aspect. Fang Yuan required a huge amount of Gutsku. Lang Ya Land Spirit, however, did not have enough souls to produce them. Previously, Fang Yuan had ordered Shadow Sect members and others to explore Tai Kiyu and kill desolate beasts and ancient desolate beasts, so Gutsgu could be repeatedly produced on a large scale. But now, Shadow Sect members were with Fang Yuan, and the souls stored in Lang Ya Sect had been completely used up these last few days. Fang Yuan thought over it. Right now, it was better for him to get materials from nearby than return to kill Tai Kiyu's desolate beasts. Western Desert was similar to Northern Plains in that it was similarly incomparably vast. Western Desert had a place that was rather special and suited Fang Yuan. Yu Chan is dead, my dragonfish business is already dominating the whole of Treasure Yellow Heaven's market. For the next few years, there should be no one that can compete with me. Fang Yuan intended to use these profits to manage his immortal aperture and not to purchase souls. It was a loss to use them to purchase souls. Fang Yuan recalled a famous saying one's own hands can produce ample food and clothing. Thereupon, Fang Yuan briefly informed Tang Fang Ming of the situation. Then, he left the immortal formation with the shadow sect members towards that special desert. Chapter 1503 Soul Beast Army Fang Yuan controlled the auspicious cloud to move through the sky. His speed was not fast, but his surroundings were permeating with dense immortal goo aura. The auspicious cloud below him was not ordinary. It originated from a luck path true inheritance in High Fan Grotto Heaven. After Fang Yuan's modifications, its effect had improved sharply. The auspicious cloud did not follow Fang Yuan's will, but moved according to the profundity of luck path. Even Fang Yuan did not know when this auspicious cloud would change direction or where it was moving to, but Fang Yuan was clear that this spontaneous auspicious cloud killer move flew along the path of highest luck. After leaving Tang Clan, Fang Yuan had spent several days to come here. This was Green Ghost Desert a famous danger region of Western Desert. For the last hundred thousand years, there were many Western Desert Gu immortals who died here. Green Ghost Desert sky was covered with dense dark clouds all year round. With barely any sunlight, it was dark and gloomy. The ground was covered with large amount of vegetation. 
ghost crying trees were the largest in number. This tree was not tall and had twisted branches that looked like they were demons and monsters brandishing their claws. Every time the gloomy wind blew on the tree, it would shake slightly and emit a shrill scream or a terrifying cry. Moan, moan, moan. The ghost crying tree wailed mournfully. A soul beast quietly moved out and approached Fang Yuan from behind while slowly raising its two sickle arms. The front half of this soul beast resembled a cockroach with long sharp pincers, while its back half had a long tail like a python. Fang Yuan seemingly failed to sense it. The soul beast's two sickle arms were raised up to its limit. It then rushed out towards Fang Yuan's back and slashed down its sickle arms. Victory or defeat was already determined at that instant. The soul beast's body stiffened in the air and fell down head first to the ground. But Fang Yuan acted in time, softly waving his sleeve which sent out a formless force that wrapped around this desolate beast level soul beast's corpse and brought it before him. The soul beast's corpse turned into whiffs of dark gray smoke and was constantly dissipating with the wind. Fang Yuan was unable to stop it, and after a while, only a glass-like soul core remained in his hand. The soul core was heavy and was dark blue to the point of appearing black. As Fang Yuan held it, it was like holding a completely filled wine vat. This was a rank six immortal material. It was the essence of the soul beast just like a mud monster only left behind its mud core after its death. Soul beasts also had soul cores. Soul beasts, mud monsters, blood beasts, shadow monsters and phantom beasts were all path beasts. Their whole bodies contained plentiful and dense amounts of Tao marks of their specific paths. Fang Yuan inspected and confirmed that there was nothing wrong with the soul core, before throwing it inside his sovereign immortal aperture. Inside his immortal aperture, there was already a small basin of soul cores. Most were rank 6 soul cores, and a portion was rank 7. But there were no rank 8 soul cores which came from immemorial soul beasts. With Fang Yuan's battle strength, it was easy for him to kill these desolate level soul beasts and ancient soul beasts. After he arrived in Green Ghost Desert, Many desolate beasts and ancient desolate beasts came to find trouble with him. Fang Yuan was charging through their territories, so he would naturally be attacked by them. Most of these beasts were soul beasts. Fang Yuan had ghostly concealment, auspicious cloud, however, was not concealed. The target of these soul beasts was the auspicious cloud while neglecting Fang Yuan. Unfortunately, they all fell to Fang Yuan's sinister scheme. The emergence of soul beasts was related to two demon venerables. One was Red Lotus Demon Venerable. He damaged Fate Gu, creating a loophole in the Great Tao of the world which allowed many beings to escape from the restrictions of fate. After dying, not all souls were sucked into door of life and death. Many souls stayed behind in the world. The second was Spectral Soul Demon Venerable. He created Soul Path causing souls to manifest and transform into soul beasts. But at present, a portion of soul beasts were naturally formed in some places with dense soul path Tao marks. Times were constantly changing. From immemorial antiquity to remote antiquity, olden antiquity to the present age, the world of five regions had already changed many times. So these soul cores could completely substitute for souls to be fed to Dang Hun Mountain and produce large amounts of guts goo. But the quality of these soul cores could not be compared to goo immortal souls. At most, they could only match the souls of other beasts and plants. It hasn't even been long since I entered Green Ghost Desert and I have already obtained so many soul cores. How I wish I could have complete control over this place. Fang Yuan thought to himself. If he could control this place, it was akin to having an endless supply of guts goo. It could completely push his soul foundation to the peak level and even be used to help others. Whoosh! Just as Fang Yuan was immersed in thinking, a sharp ear-piercing sound came from behind him towards the left. A giant scorpion was flying towards Fang Yuan. 
Fang Yuan's pupils immediately shrunk when he took a glance. This scorpion was completely black and had a peculiar shape. Its whole body resembled a huge round disc, its long tail was behind the disc, and its two huge pincers flickered with eerie light. It was charging straight at Fang Yuan with terrifying momentum. This is an immemorial desolate beast disc scorpion. It is a wisdom path beast and its favorite food is soul beasts. A line of information instantly appeared in Fang Yuan's mind. Fang Yuan's ghostly concealment could conceal him from the senses of soul beasts, but it had no effect on other beasts. Fang Yuan jumped out of the auspicious cloud and escaped. Fang Yuan had rank 8 battle strength. He was not helpless against this immemorial desolate beast. However, his goal in this trip was not to fight a drawn-out battle with the Disc Scorpion, but to gather as many soul cores as possible. Fang Yuan retreated, but the Disc Scorpion did not let go. However, after a while of being chased, Fang Yuan was able to successfully throw off the Disc Scorpion by using his ample methods. Danger lurked everywhere in Green Ghost Desert, even Fang Yuan was not safe here. Over the next few days, Fang Yuan hunted soul beasts while cultivating soul path, increasing his soul foundation. If he ran into any existences like the Disc Scorpion, Fang Yuan would prioritize escaping as much as possible. Fang Yuan was not the only one hunting, the Shadow Sect members were also doing the same. The soul cores obtained by the immortals were given to Lang Ya Lan spirit to produce large amounts of guts goo. In less than half a month, Fang Yuan's soul foundation had reached the range of 10 million man soul again. My soul foundation is enough, it is time to change battle tactics. Fang Yuan instructed the shadow sect immortals to stop killing soul beasts. Instead, they would start capturing, subduing or enslaving them. Fang Yuan had spectral soul's true inheritance. He possessed large amounts of methods to enslave soul beasts. The only thing limiting him was that he lacked soul path and enslavement path immortal goo. Under everyone's efforts, they soon controlled a large group of soul beasts. There were roughly over 60 desolate level soul beasts and around 20 ancient soul beasts. Soul beasts of all kinds of grotesque shapes formed a majestic army that rampaged around in Green Ghost Desert. When they encountered lone soul beasts or small groups of soul beasts, Fang Yuan would command the enslaved soul beasts to charge at them. Those that could not be controlled were killed for their soul cores, and those soul beasts that were on their last breaths would be enslaved by Fang Yuan and the rest. A dozen or so days passed. The enslaved soul beast army expanded by three times the original size. Chapter 1504, Meeting a Benefactor In Green Ghost Desert, the sky was always covered with dark clouds and there was barely any sunlight. A small group of soul beasts were moving in the desert. Different from the rest, there were three goo immortals in this soul beast group. Two were captives and one was the master of these soul beasts, Hehe, <laughs> you two lads from Fang Clan, have you thought it through? The Gu immortal in charge was dressed in a gray robe. He had a sharp nose, thin eyes, and had a goatee. He was sitting on the back of a bull-shaped ancient soul beast and was looking at the two Gu immortal captives beside him with a dark and pleased expression. Fang Lang and Fang Yun had rank six cultivation. They looked clean and tidy, but in fact, their souls were completely bound by dark gray soul chains and could not even budge. Fang Leng, who was slightly older, had a square face. He kept quiet and did not reply. The slightly younger Fang Yun had a handsome appearance. He had a rather lively nature as he replied, Old Ghost Bai Jun, it is not that we cannot write a letter to the clan for you, but you have bound our souls. We cannot even activate our communication means. How about loosening the chains a little so I can message the clan? Old ghost Bai Jun snorted. You are so sneaky, wanting to deceive this old ghost. You only need an instant to escape with your body cloud killer move. It was not easy for me to capture you. You think I can be so easily fooled? Fang Yun quickly said, How could I dare to fool Senior? 
it is just that what I said is the truth. You see, it is like this. Ah. Before he finished speaking, Fang Yun's whole body started shaking as he let out a terrifyingly miserable scream. Old ghost Bai Jun snickered, while Fang Lang called out furiously, Stop, don't hurt my junior brother. Old ghost Bai Jun was annoyed. Looks like you guys are accustomed to acting without consequences, you still don't recognize your situation? HMPH, then let me teach you. He then activated his method, tormenting Fang Lang as well. Fang Lang grunted, his brows tightly furrowed, but he did not utter a sound, except his trembling was growing increasingly intense. Old ghost Bai Jun tortured them for a while and only stopped when he saw Fang Clan's two immortals turning pale as paper, their bodies shaking and covered in sweat. He inwardly frowned. If it were ordinary lone cultivators, I could have killed them without consequences. But these two have quite the background. Fang Clan is a super force of Western Desert. If I rashly kill them, Fang Clan will definitely be able to find that I am the culprit. Fang Clan's second supreme elder Fang Di Chang is a famous wisdom path expert of Western Desert. Also, if Fang Clan comes to search Green Ghost Desert, it will hinder Master's plan. But if I just let them go and Master asks me later, he might blame me for being cowardly. The only thing I can do now is capture these two to demand ransom from Fang Clan, and then set an agreement. With this, I can satisfy both sides. Old ghost Bai Jun thought things through and looked at these two captives again. Fang Ling and Fang Yun were gasping and sweating, collapsed on the ground because of the torture. Old ghost Bai Jun sneered, Even an iron-forged man won't be able to endure my methods. To tell you the truth, I am not afraid of you not giving in. What do you think? Want to try it again? Fang Ling said through clenched teeth, Old ghost, just kill us. Fang Yun, however, shouted, Don't, don't, I will contact the clan, okay? Old ghost Bai Jun looked at Fang Yun's terror-stricken look and laughed. You should have said so before, then you wouldn't have to suffer so much pain. Do it quickly. Fang Yun gave a miserable cry. Senior old ghost, I am telling the truth. If you don't loosen your chains a little, Junior truly is unable to message the clan. Old ghost Bai Jun was furious, still making excuses. He once again activated his methods, tormenting the two Fang clan Gu immortals. After another while of torture, Fang Lang and Fang Yun could not endure it any longer. Their bodies collapsed on the soul beast's back like a pile of mud. Have you thought it through? Old ghost Bai Jun sneered. Fang Lang did not utter a sound, while Fang Yun said, Yes, yes, but I wonder if senior old ghost has thought it through. Me? What do I have to think about? Old ghost Bai Jun asked in surprise. Senior, we are Fang Clan's Gu Immortals. Senior is a lone cultivator. If you provoke Fang Clan, your life will probably become turbulent, right? How about letting us go and getting on good terms with our Fang clan? Wouldn't that be better? Fang Yun smiled. Old ghost Bai Jun was immediately filled with anger. Kid, you think I am afraid of your Fang clan? HMPH, if I were afraid of your Fang clan, would I have captured you for ransom? Senior is thinking of making a non-aggression pact with our Fang clan by doing this. Junior admits today's matter is our fault. And we have offended Senior. We have committed much offense, but please forgive us, Senior. Fang Yun spoke weakly. HMPH, now you admit defeat. Why did you find trouble with me repeatedly earlier? It is too late for that now. Old ghost Bai Jun's voice was firm, but was inwardly shaken. His intention was already guessed by the two Fang clan Gu immortals, so it was going to be difficult to force them to give in. Fang Yun continued to persuade, Senior can punish me, and I will accept the punishment. Actually, I have a lot of assets in the clan. So long as Senior lets us go, we can immediately set a non-aggression agreement. We will take it as this matter did not happen, and we will even heavily compensate Senior. 
With this, we also don't need to let the clan know of this scandalous matter as that would truly decrease our prestige in the clan. Old Ghost by Jun scoffed. You think I was born yesterday? What prestige do you, Fang Yun, have in Fang Clan? It is your senior brother Fang Leng who is a talent among rank sixes and is a possible successor of Fang Clan. Fang Yun's heart sank. He had not expected old ghost Bai Jun to have such detailed information on them. But he still continued, Wouldn't resolving this privately be better? If we escalate this, it might not have a good ending. Old ghost Bai Jun shook his head. No, what status do you two have? I will discuss with your Fang clan's first supreme elder, and besides getting my compensation, you will not be allowed to take a single step in Green Ghost Desert for the next few hundred years. Fang Leng and Fang Yun's expressions immediately changed. Fang Leng said, Old Ghost Bai Jun, you are still after this Green Ghost Desert? Your appetite is too big, be careful or your stomach might burst. Old Ghost Bai Jun laughed in a strange tone, Although I have rank 7 cultivation, I am close to rank 8. Fang Leng shook his head. So what? Do you dare to undergo the tribulation? Old ghost Bai Jun stroked his goatee. Of course, I don't. But not daring now doesn't mean I won't dare in the future. He hesitated before making up his mind. All right, let me destroy all your hopes. Take a look at what Gu this is. Fang Yun and Fang Leng immediately raised their heads to look at a ladybird like Gu in Old Ghost Bai Jun's hand. This Gu was like sapphire, it was the size of small bowl, and its thick carapace was dotted with countless golden star specks. These golden star specks constantly twinkled with various lights, giving a dazzling sense to others. Fang Yun's and Fang Leng's minds shook fiercely, their eyes could not conceal their panic. Fang Lang's eyes widened and he was speechless momentarily. This is, this is a rank 8 immortal Gu, Fang Yun cried out in shock. Old ghost Bai Jun said, Pleased, let me teach you. This rank 8 immortal Gu's name is Soul Beast Token. It can directly allow me to enslave Soul Beasts. Rank 8 Soul Beast Token can enslave immemorial Soul Beasts and what it requires is not rank 8 immortal essence. I can use it now. Do you understand what this means? Fang Leng and Fang Yun looked at each other in shock. The meaning behind this was too big. With this rank 8 immortal Gu, old ghost Bai Jun could go about his plan slowly. He could control an immemorial soul beast, then use it to control a huge soul beast army and even control this whole green ghost desert. Green ghost desert had an inestimable number of soul beasts, this was a dangerous land to others, but it was a paradise to old ghost Bai Jun. No wonder you have such an ambition. You want to grasp this place, then use an immemorial soul beast to help you smoothly pass your tribulation and become a rank 8 great expert. Fang Leng's voice turned hoarse. Fang Yun quickly spoke, But our Fang clan is the nearest super clan to Green Ghost Desert. As long as Senior reaches an agreement with our Fang clan, you will have gained the safest cultivation environment. Indeed, it is good you know. Old Ghost by Jun's eyes flickered sharply. Actually, I need to thank you too, you came at such a time. One is a direct great-grandson of Fang clan's first supreme elder, while the other is the second supreme elder's adopted son. Although both of you are only rank six, you two have sufficient weight to be put into a negotiation. Fang Leng and Fang Yun were silent. Fang Leng inwardly thought, This old ghost Bai Jun is indeed a schemer. Everything is different now with this soul beast token immortal Gu. With an immemorial soul beast beside him, old ghost Bai Jun will need to be treated as a quasi rank 8 existence. The clan needs to be very careful when dealing with him. More importantly, with us as captives, old ghost Bai Jun indeed has the best chips to talk terms. Sigh, if I knew this, I would not have listened to Junior Brother's instigation to adventure here. Just as he was thinking, Fang Leng suddenly heard Fang Yun's shout. Senior Brother, look over there. 
Fang Yun's voice was filled with pleasant surprise. Fang Lang curiously looked over, seeing the dark clouds above green ghost desert covering the sunlight. But right now, a white cloud was slowly flying under the dense dark clouds and was gradually nearing them. Fang Lang was slightly stumped as he suddenly recalled the conversation he had with Fang Yun before leaving. Fang Lang, you have such big guts, you actually want to adventure in Green Ghost Desert. Fang Yun laughed. Be at ease, senior brother, I had requested father to make deductions on this adventure. He had deduced that this trip will be threatening but not dangerous. We will meet a benefactor along the way and reap huge harvests. Fang Leng frowned. Not to mention that few people tread in Green Ghost Desert, even if we meet someone else, how would you know if this person is the benefactor? Fang Yun patted Fang Leng's shoulder. I had asked father, he said that the benefactor will come on a white cloud. Fang Leng was dazed, before scoffing. White cloud? Everyone knows, Green Ghost Desert is shrouded by layers of dark clouds. How can there be white cloud? Thinking of this conversation, Fang Leng looked at the white cloud and thought, could it be the benefactor as told by Second Supreme Elder? Old Ghost Bai Jun also stared at the white cloud with a gloomy expression. This white cloud emits luck path aura, but it is not only luck path. Clearly someone has used an immortal killer move. Who is it? Who owns such rare luck path methods? Chapter 1505 Directly Attacking Rumble a vast soul beast army was moving in green ghost desert, raising dust clouds in their way. And ahead of the soul beast army was a white auspicious cloud flying gently. The white cloud was Fang Yuan's immortal killer move spontaneous auspicious cloud. Fang Yuan had come to green ghost desert to only search for soul cores and did not have any precise goals. So over these days, he let spontaneous auspicious cloud lead the way. The effect was pretty good, as he added some small-scale soul beast groups. As a result, this soul beast army's scale had enlarged further. The numbers were astonishing. But this amount is already my limit. Fang Yuan was riding a soul beast, his body moving slightly along with the soul beast's movements. He felt some regret. All beings had big or small capabilities, there was some form of limit in terms of capabilities. Controlling so many soul beasts was Fang Yuan's current upper limit, he could not control any more. On one hand, controlling these soul beasts depended on his soul foundation, which was at 90 million man soul. On the other hand, Fang Yuan had too few soul path immortal goo. They were rank 7 change soul and rank 6 cleanse soul. Change Soul Immortal Goo had to be left as a trump card, because it was the core Immortal Goo of Switch Soul in Dream Killer move, and could not be used casually. While Rank 6 Cleanse Soul Immortal Goo was very useful, it was used by Fang Yuan in Myriad Self, as well as his own Soul Path cultivation. He was using it as a replacement now, and was just barely able to control these Soul Beasts. It was being used in many things simultaneously. In the case of Cleanse Soul Immortal Goo, it had a lot of different uses. Fang Yuan was able to do different things by raising just this one goo. It was much better than raising Change Soul Immortal Goo. But like this, Cleanse Soul Immortal Goo could not handle many situations at the same time as a single goo. I need more Soul Path Immortal Goo. Best would be rank 7 ones. Goo refinement was out of the question. Refining rank 7 soul path immortal goo was indeed a tempting thought, but Fang Yuan was lacking resources and would not be able to bear the cost of large-scale goo refinement. After all, he had invested in many things in this recent period, and had also refined many immortal goo. And in terms of his earnings, there were few, only the dragonfish business was worth anticipating. I have a lot of wisdom path immortal goo. I can use them as replacements, it is just that the killer moves would have to be modified. After returning to Langya Blessed Land, I will use the Light of Wisdom to modify suitable killer moves. Fang Yuan's expression was calm as he continued to plan. 
the Shadow Sect Immortals were at the four corners of the Beast Group, commanding the Soul Beast Army for Fang Yuan, while also scouting their surroundings. Green Ghost Desert had countless Soul Beasts. These Soul Beasts were an extremely desired resource for Fang Yuan. My soul is at 90 million man soul currently. The soul cores harvested in this trip will be enough to advance me to 100 million man soul level. But even if I attain 100 million man soul, it is only midway in the soul cultivation records in Spectral Soul True Inheritance. It is far from the peak. 100 million man soul was the limit of a human soul. After reaching this point, they had reached the peak and could not progress further. But this situation was before Red Lotus Demon Venerable's period. When Red Lotus Demon Venerable broke Fate Goo, this limit was also destroyed. The human soul could continue to advance, but no one found the way to advance. In fact, it was already amazing for someone to have a million man soul back then. When Spectral Soul Demon Venerable created Soul Path, he innovated new ideas with his Soul Path Supreme Grandmaster Attainment Level and found the way to continue advancing beyond 100 million man soul. As stated by Spectral Soul's True Inheritance, above 100 million man soul was desolate soul. 100 million man soul could solidify the human soul, and the soul could directly interfere with the real world and would not simply be an illusory body like before. But even so, 100 million man soul was still fragile. This was an inherent deficiency of humans. Man was the spirit of all living beings and had extremely high comprehension, but their physical bodies and souls were far inferior to other beings. However, once they cross hundred million man soul and step into desolate soul, just their soul alone would have the strength of a desolate level soul beast, cultivating the desolate soul further until the limit, that would be hundred million desolate soul. This level was the peak of soul cultivation and also the limit that the world could contain. Fang Yuan had personally witnessed this level before. It was that terrifying giant form of Spectral Soul's main body. As recorded in Spectral Soul True Inheritance, it was three-headed thousand arms demon soul. Reaching this level meant possessing Quasi Rank 9 battle strength. The soul could directly resist calamities and tribulations, defying the heavens and stamping the earth slaughtering deities and ghosts, shocking the world. So Fang Yuan had an extremely huge demand for Gutsku. The soul cores he obtained in this trip to Green Ghost Desert could push him to 100 million man soul level, but what about later? If Fang Yuan wanted to cultivate his soul to the peak, he definitely required much more and an unceasing supply of soul cores. The best scenario is to get control of this desert and become its owner. Like many Gu Immortals did, controlling an area was to make the natural resources in the area into one's own assets. Battle strength was required to accomplish this. With Fang Yuan's current strength, he had the qualifications to occupy this region. Especially since this green ghost desert was an unowned land. But there was a problem in this. Once I expose my identity and govern this area, it will be the same as asking Heavenly Court to attack me. Reverse Flow Protection Seal cannot be disguised, and Myriad Dragon is also the same. Then I can only disguise my identity and use Rank 7 Battle Strength to fight for this place. After I get this place, I could arrange Ying Wu Zai to station here and let him command the Soul Beast Army, supplying me with Soul Cores. Among the people he had, Ying Wuzai was the most suitable choice. To do this, I need more soul path immortal goo and to also raise Ying Wuzai's soul foundation. The important point is Fang Clan. This western desert super force is the nearest to green ghost desert. If I control this place, Fang Clan would be my neighbor and is a barrier that I can't get around. Getting rid of Fang Clan was not realistic. Fang Yuan's current battle strength could fight rank 8, but winning against a rank 8 great expert was difficult. Furthermore, Fang Clan not only had a rank 8 first supreme elder, this generation's second supreme elder, Fang Di Cheng, 
was a wisdom path great expert who had been renowned in Fang Yuan's first life. Fang Di Chang had an extremely deep wisdom path attainment, possessing wisdom path great grandmaster attainment level, and was also marked in shadow sex information. So Fang Yuan only had one path before him. Disguise as a lone cultivator, get close to the righteous path, then build a good relationship with Fang clan. It was not easy to conspire for a resource area, there were many things to be considered. Fortunately, Green Ghost Desert was rather special as most of the Western Desert Gu Immortals and clans lacked methods to develop it. This gave Fang Yuan the best opportunity possible. However, he did not know that he was not the only one who had an intention to occupy Green Ghost Desert. Hmm, there are people ahead? Fang Yuan's expression suddenly changed. His current investigative methods were no longer like before. He immediately sensed old ghost Bai Jun and the rest the moment they entered his investigative range. Is the benefactor coming? Fang Yun was inwardly going crazy with excitement. Fang Lang also had a look of anticipation. Old ghost Bai Jun's gaze was frosty. When he made out some details of the white cloud, he restrained himself and waited for the other side. Soon, the three Gu Immortals sensed the ground starting to softly tremor. Then they saw dust clouds surging on the horizon, as one soul beast after another appeared in their sight. A large amount of soul beasts appeared, causing the three Immortals' expression to change. And when the whole soul beast army was revealed, all three were shaken. This, old ghost Bai Jun lost his voice, he had thought his soul beast group was of a large enough scale, but now he discovered that he did not even hold a candle to Fang Yuan's soul beast army. The shadow sect immortals had already entered Fang Yuan's immortal aperture, while Fang Yuan had changed into another appearance. He looked like a skinny middle-aged man, with long gray hair, a pair of black eyes which seemed to contain vicissitudes of life and ambition. His sight would make anyone feel like this person was absolutely a formidable person. Right now, Fang Yuan was dressed in a black robe, and his hands were clasped behind his back. He was standing proudly on the back of a soul beast while controlling the soul beast army, an awe-inspiring demonic aura lingering around him. Old ghost Bai Jun and the rest were shaken, and subconsciously held their breath. Fang Leng turned to look at Fang Yun. His gaze filled with doubts why does your benefactor feel even more demonic than old ghost Bai Jun? Fang Yun rolled his eyes, his meaning was you are asking me, but who should I ask? Perhaps he is the case of men cannot be judged by their looks. He could be of righteous path? Fang Yuan had used familiar face to disguise himself, so there was not even a little flaw. Old ghost Bai Jun was awed by Fang Yuan's aura, he coughed then clasped his hands in greeting. Greetings, I wonder how I should address you. Fang Yuan's cold gaze swept past the three immortals, chilling their hearts. He did not reply, he only waved his hand. Roar. The soul beast army started roaring and howling, their voices reverberating everywhere. Then, the large army, like a surging tide, charged towards old ghost Bai Jun's group. Their momentum was like countless horses and soldiers running in the battlefield. As the saying went, a slightest disagreement of words could result in a fight. But Fang Yuan did not even speak a word, and instead straightforwardly made a move, his intense killing intent causing the three immortals' hearts to sink. Fang Lang once again looked at Fang Yun, as if shouting, Are you saying this is not a demon? Now, your benefactor is about to take our lives. Fang Yun innocently looked at Fang Lang, as if replying, Why blame me? I am innocent too. Old ghost Bai Jun was stunned, before becoming furious. He thought, I am trying peaceful measures so as to not to add troubles to Master's plan. I did not think this maniac would directly make a killing move without even any greeting. When did this maniac appear in Western Desert? He is simply disregarding me. All right, I will let you know that not everyone can be so easily bullied. At this thought, old ghost Bai Jun shouted and flew to the sky like a flash of lightning.
Come, let's battle, he opened his arms wide. His sleeves expanded like two black holes from where countless dark currents surged out. The dark currents moved towards Fang Yuan like black pythons. Fang Yuan pointed his finger. Wisdom path immortal killer move ignited thought flying rock. Rumble. Using offense against offense, the dark currents resisted for a while but could not endure it any longer as they dispersed. The red meteorite's power was decreased by half, but still continued to smash towards the ground. Old ghost Bai Jun's soul beast army cried miserably from the bombardment. Many were killed instantly or heavily injured. Old ghost Bai Jun's pupils shrunk in fright, such power. He is a wisdom path, Gu Immortal? Fang Lang was astonished. Don't kill me, we are Fang Clan's Gu Immortals. We are old ghost Bai Jun's enemies and not friends, Fang Yun shouted loudly.